Squish rack on fit and in personal training. Uh, just going over a quick uh, member question. I had a new lady sign last week and she was talking about what, what is, what is um, why don't you recommend milk? And uh, I was kind of explaining the process to her. So I thought I'd do a video on it because it's a great, just extra great information for all you guys as well. So um, she, her perception of milk is that it's, it's healthy for us, it helps develop our bones, it's, uh, it's good for calcium levels and uh, going to keep our teeth white and all the rest of it. And, Milk, unfortunately, isn't what we think it is. Milk is a highly processed um, kind of sludge, uh, really, is the best description for it, which um, is, is not what we think it is. So we, our perception of milk is that it kind of, we squeeze it from the others, um, goes into a little pot, and the, the man just kind of very neatly pasteurizes it and then sends it on its way to the uh, to the uh, development company. Now, that, that's not what happens. The milk goes through two major processes, pasteurization and homogenization. So, Firstly, it is heated up to um, a degree where it kills all the enzymes in a giant vat. That then is reduced back down, and then it is forced at high speed through uh, like a mesh, um, similar to what you'd have if you had an operation and you had a, a cut and that kind of thing. Forced it, and these meshes are, are tiny, you can't even see them in that tiny, and the, the, it's forced through there to break down the molecules and to break down the bonds and that kind of thing. So basically all the goodness, so it just basically kills everything of any active um, use for you. Um, so then that gets put in a uh, milk carton and it's put onto the shelves. The other thing, it lasts for what, two, three, four weeks? Sometimes it is ridiculous. So they're putting preservatives and chemicals in and all that kind of thing. The other problem with it is that the actual cows on the opposite end of it, so not the production end, the actual cows are pumped full of hormones. So a cow which is bigger and has bigger udders uh, is going to produce more milk and that means they can turn it over a lot quicker as well. So one of the other problems is that they feed and feed and feed and feed and feed the cows with things like growth hormone and um, hunger suppressants and that kind of thing so that they can increase the size of the udders to produce more milk. That then obviously gets passed through into your milk so actually there's probably the relevant kind of uh, trace levels of um, growth hormone, hunger suppressants within the milk as well. Um, milk then passes in through the digestive system um, and it has a very, 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 very irritable effect. A lot of you will have taught, heard about things like lactose intolerance. Lactose is basically the sugars in milk. Um, and many, many, in fact, most people I know are intolerant to lactose. And you'll get what we call, as soon as lactose hits into the digestive system and starts to travel around, you get like an immune response because the body doesn't recognize it. It kind of casts it as like an invader. Um, and so what happens is you get swelling, you get irritation, similar to what would happen, I've spoke about wheat and gluten before. Milk is in that same category, in my opinion. Um, that then clogs up the system, causes backups and, and all the rest of it. It's just not a nice substance to have inside your body. Um, the other thing she asked me was whether, what, what, what's the alternatives? Well, the alternatives are coconut milk, rice milk, almond milk, really, really, really simple. If you're a small child, my, my little boy has goat's milk. So goat's milk is a lot um, more assimilated by the body. The body recognizes it a lot better because the processes aren't quite as high. So that's, that's another alternative for most people as well. However, for me, I don't actually have milk in my diet whatsoever. Um, there's no, I don't drink, eat cereals, uh, which I have milk. I don't drink tea. I drink coffee, however I have it black, uh, or I have an espresso. And um, there's no real area for me to get in calcium, with actually milk into my system. So what I tend to use is something like natural yogurt. So natural yogurt is a, is a probiotic and a prebiotic. There's a lot of healthy bacteria in there which actually help to cleanse the gut because if milk wasn't processed, it would be good for us. Um, raw milk, especially. Um, if you can get hold of raw milk, there's a, there's a place where I live in Nottingham that can produce raw milk. I would, I would drink raw milk if I could. It's very creamy and it's a bit not to most people's liking, but it is. it has all the benefits of actual milk with none of the crap that goes with it, i.e. the processes. So if you can get hold of raw milk, i.e. a grass-fed organic cow which roams around the uh, its field freely, it's not pumped full of anything and it just produces milk when it produces milk, it's not forced to produce milk, that's then squeezed into bottles and that's just gone through a little filter which sifts all the, the, the little bits and pieces you don't want in it and that's bottle, bottle on the shelf. Now that is raw milk, that stuff will go off very quickly, it will curdle, um, that's the stuff you need to get instantly and start drinking. So farmers markets will have those, that kind of thing. If you fancy milk, that is the, the milk to have. It's more like cream, but for most of you that is, uh, that'll be great. So um, please, please, please stop drinking, stop drinking milk, because milk isn't uh, as, as, as good as we think it is. So um, try and drop it out of the diet. If you're, if you're going through a, um, a health kick anyway, the things that we use milk for, you, you, you don't really need to be eating anyway. Cereals, for example, and cereals are just as crappy as anything else. Cereal, you might as well have chocolate cake for breakfast instead of cereals. I'll do a video on cereals as well. Um, 
Uh, the, the things like tea and coffee, tea and coffee, if you're drinking them in abundance, they're going to be dehydrating the body. It's not good for you long term anyway. I'm not suggesting you don't want to drink tea or coffee ever again. However, try them without milk. Have varieties. I've got a little variety here. Like I have always have stacks of different tea varieties, like pucker tea varieties, three green teas, licorice and cinnamon, peppermint teas, those kind of things. So please just try and find the alternatives. So uh, yeah, milk, milk is not a good thing. So uh, please leave it like diet. So um, I shall speak to you guys soon. Cheers.